Well, hello again, and I am finishing up the Bible cover. I have the front all set down with the uh, ribbon outline, and that was just a, a like a back stitch, running stitch, um, to secure it down on either side, both sides of that little narrow ribbon. So that's all set. I have my flap fixed. And I'm going to show you how I've done these flaps. Now they will fit very, very tightly, which is what I want, because that stretches it out nicely. Okay. We're going to pretend I have the right sides out. Um, what I did was what's called a mattress stitch. They're a little bit far apart. I hope you can see that well. They're probably between an eighth and a quarter, an eighth and three sixteenths apart. That's what I do on the right side. All you're going to have is that little bit of a mattress stitch. And you can see it's not overly tight. But this fabric is doubled for a good reason, for strength. So what I'm going to do on the back side is I'm going to take and not going all the way through. I'm only going through this back part of the layer, the two back layers. I'm not going through the front layer. It's not going to show on the front. And what I'm going to do is overcast stitch. Nobody's going to see this part. It's going to be on the inside. But what this overcast stitch does, and it's a little hard to do it where you can see it, But what it's going to do is it's going to give it added strength. But it's going to be where nobody can see it. These stitches are not going through both layers of fabric. They're only going through the back layer of fabric. Because these are going to get a lot of pull from as tight as it's going to be on the boards of the of the Bible. So I just do that all the way up and all the way down. Okay, so it's going to have that extra bit of hold to it. If you see it from the front side, now you see that there's no spaces where you see a gap. That's where that extra stitch comes in handy. So let me finish this up, and then I'll show you the completed item. Be right back. Okay, I'm back, and the Bible cover is finished. And please disregard the cat hairs. Uh, we'll get rid of those in a little bit. Okay, so that was the front. This is the back side with our two flaps where the bookends will go in. And this is the front of the Bible. So we're going to put the cover on the front first. Now, don't let it scare you when you see how far you have to bend something. Like I say, it's going to fit tightly. So, you just want to gently pull it down over it. This Bible is old, it's well worn, it's pretty limber. Okay, there's one side. Now, to get the other side, you got to turn it over. So I gotta do it like so. Yeah, you have to kind of put it where you usually don't want to bend out your Bible like that. And it's very tight. The other side went easier because I've already had it on. Checking it. Okay, here we go. And just slowly work your way down the sides. You got a little bit of room to pull it. You want to get it down as far as it'll go. Okay, 
said, it's got a lot of wiggle room to it. Because it's a well-used Bible. Okay, there we go. There. So, there's our recycled Bible cover. From an old Bible cover into a new Bible cover on a different size Bible than it was originally on. And it's all set to go and I think that'll do me for quite a number of years. I probably won't ever have to do another one on this Bible anyway. I have some plans in the future that I've thought of. But I'll get back with you on that later if I decide to go down that road. Bye. Thanks for visiting.